Okay, now we're going to look at Leandro Flynn's The Furthest Distance I've Traveled, another uh, traveling poem or a poem that can be talked about distance, about relationships, um, and the title comes from the big realization at towards the end of the poem that uh, no matter how far the speaker's gone, no matter how far, it's... Uh, it's her. It's the distance between people. So it's not the distance in the world. It's the distance between people. And does that mean there's a sense of loneliness, S solitude? These are possibilities, and these are possibilities that only come from multiple readings of the poem. Like many folk, when I first saddled a rucksack, a rucksack saddled. Um, it's something to do with horses, you know, saddles. So she's, in a way, the horse, or, or she's riding herself, or something. But that verb um, makes me think of horse riding. Uh, feeling its weight on my back, the way my spine curved under it, like a meridian. Um, geographic terms. Geographic measurements. Uh, the image and the feeling of the backpack. I thought, yes. You know, you get that that colon, and the inner the inner thought. Yeah, this is this is how to live. This is how to live. Okay, this is what I want. Um, just the experience of backpacking, of wearing the backpack. That's life on the beaten track, the Sherpa Pass between Krakow and Zagreb, or the Siberian white cells of scattered airports. So here we start the lists of places, the unusual line breaks, emphasize maybe, you know, uh, you know, the Sherpa, the, 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 the places that she's going. Uh, this is the classic part and came clear over a tannoy that in restless and anonymity was some kind of destiny. We get this rhyme, rhyme, uh, you know, this, this, uh, forced and jam, you know, in jammed lines to help with the, to emphasize her unusual life, her unusual journey. Um, it came clear as, you know, this is a simile. It's as if she, it was being announced that this is your destiny. As if she was in an airport and it's like, now you're nobody. You're anonymous. You don't have to be anyone. And that itself is destiny. So that whether it was the scare stories about larium, the threats of delirium and baldness that led me not to a Western Union wiring money with six words of Lithuanian, but to this post office with a handful of bills or a gyro. So she's, she's, she's talking about uh, worries, risks, and she's not bothered. Okay? She's not going to take the easy way out and go to Western Union wiring money. She's, she's, she's trying to hustle. You know, she's trying to do it old school. She's going to post offices with bills and a gyro. And why? If I'm stuffing smalls hastily into a hold all, I am less likely to be catching a greyhound from Madison to Milwaukee than to be doing some overdue laundry is really beyond me. So why I'm less likely to be on a bus than be doing laundry. So um, now... She's, you know, if she's, if she has this cash and she's stuffing it into her uh, place where she hides her money, she's more likely doing laundry, more likely now laundry over journeying. She's been doing this so long that actually now... Some of it is just about just doing overdue laundry and just catching up. However, when during routine evictions, so regularly she's kicked out, I discover alien pants on a crate 
Alien, does this mean strange, unknown, underwear? Alien pants? Cinema stubs, the throwaway comment on a post-it, or a tiny stowaway. So she herself has become the vessel for travel. And what's stowed away or hidden on her are flowers in the bottom drawers. And these are her souvenirs, her remembrances. Pants, stubs, post-its. These objects are her memory. And from these, and she calls them crushed valentines. These flowers, these things. Um, this unraveled sports science, and she uses lists to really give you the variety of her life uh, and travels. This unraveled unra sports sock. So just as the sports sock unravels, so does her thought process, where she realizes that, you know what, the furthest distance I've traveled has been those between people. It's not... Zagreb or Siberia or it, it's actually people and I get this from these crushed valentines these little love letters nothing nothing's here with me anymore except these and all that sur and these things are what survive of holidaying briefly in their lives holidaying her, she's she's denigrating I think her travels their holidays their um, breaks escapes uh, and more than that it's just the short and so even though she's been doing these huge travels uh, and journeys actually it just amounts to her realization that in her life she's been so separate from people and I think there's a terrible uh, sadness about that uh, in this in this poem